been having all sorts of workshops uh, at our retreat center in the past two years and I have attended quite a number of workshops before but this workshop was something very special because um, we read a lot of statistics about gender violence uh, we all want to do something about it I could see that healing happening at this workshop itself it's yes. not something that happens after the workshop it's not some ideas you get that you're going to implement later It was an amazing container for the incredible amount of um, vulnerability one went into. So there was this whole thing of anchoring yourself and then moving in a very short while into very intense spaces. I think that was incredibly powerful because I've never seen such an intervention happening in such a way where someone is given the encouragement to speak the truth and yet not to condemn, you know. And I think, how do you speak the truth and not condemn? That paradox was held very beautifully. I commit to protect and honor womanhood. I commit to sharing the energy of the divine feminine. I come to celebrating, respecting and honoring the feminine inside me and do that to all the women in the world. Continuing to spread the work of gender healing and reconciliation as far and wide as possible.
incredibly touched me was the fact is that the blessing ceremony of the women, I think when, I, when my eyes were closed and, and the singing which was happening just completely melted and, and all, I think the blindfolded exercise and when you blindfold and when you actually have the power to look inside and to hear the feminine presence, smell it, you know, be touched by it, not necessarily to see it. It makes me very, very uh, attuned with my own feminine, which is invisible, with mother living within me, with a goddess living within me, which is invisible. Those moments were very powerfully invocative moments. New generation of